Hello everybody and Happy New Year to you all. I was disappointed we can't have you back at the start of the new school year here, but I suppose the main thing is that you're all safe and well at home and that you continue to stay safe until we can open up the school for you, hopefully in a few weeks' time. But I did promise you I'd give you a tour around the new school once it was ready, so if you follow me now, I would do a quick tour. So we might start first by going right and we'll show you where the six classes are and the access to the fifth classes. Okay, so we're here at the first of our six classes, this is Mr. Shukru's room, and if you follow me in you'll see that they've all been done up beautifully freshly painted, um, there's new storage in all the classrooms. And next door then into Miss Carton's class. They freshly painted again and with some lovely Ansi tiles in there for the children and storage at the back. Our third six classroom is Davies. Notice the beautiful ceilings and everything we have here. It's hard to believe, I suppose, that this building is over 125 years old. It's been kept so well and looking so beautiful now. So, like the other rooms that are freshly painted, we have new gas heating in all these six classrooms. We have new sink areas at the back, new slide rows with storage and unsweet facilities for the children. There are three six classes, and you probably notice everywhere we turn, we've loads of light coming into this new building. The lovely outdoor area there for, for sitting out on a fine day, and giving great light here into the building, into the corridors. Yeah, this corridor then leads on to the fifth class. We've been passing our staff from here on the right to get quick glimpse. Yeah, let's go down into reception. This leads to reception and we've got the quick glass car over here. Okay, so we're back to the main door again, the children's entrance. This time we're going to go left and we'll show you the first and second classes. First room here is second class, Mrs. Denny Hiss. Lovely bright rooms, highlights and everything. Storage, interactive boards, everything the children need. This is daily second class. Again, beautiful light, bright, fresh rooms, and we have the skylights as well, so the light coming from all directions. 
plus cross ventilation in all the rooms when we get back and open again. Our first classes, these rooms are painted in red. So this is Mrs. Meehan's. Lovely new toilets as well. class. And then finally this is his first class here. smart panels put up in every one of the new classrooms here in the school. And if we keep going down this corridor, it joins onto our sports hall. So we have a bit of cleaning here to do, but hopefully in the next week or so we'll have this sorted. And again, lovely toilet facilities here. Boys' toilets. Another set of toilets here. Saving time is here. Oh, we're just a few steps up into our first and second class building just outside. Oh, sorry, it's our new junior into building now, so that's what the entrance will be when they come back. And we have a lovely car park there for the staff. Okay, so now we're back at the main children's entrance again, and this time we're going to go straight through to the rail to classes. Start first with the junior room, Mrs. Barrett's. Just give him a minute. So, again, a beautiful, bright room, lovely skylight up above, lovely natural sunlight coming in the whole time. All the children have new workstations. Again, they have an interactive board. They have an outdoor play area or teaching area if they want to go out in the fine weather. Um, and here they have a quiet room if they want some time out. Just need a break at any stage. And in this door room we have their bathrooms. So this is the boys tile at first. Beautifully finished tiles. Finished. Another tiles here. 
Okay, so we go back out into Mrs. Barrett's room and we go out to see Mr. Perkins. Light here with natural light coming in. Empty storage. Children all have their own work zones. Interactive panel. They all have their own outside area here if they want to do some learning outside in the fine weather or if they want to use it as a timeout space. The options are there. They have their own quiet room. And again, they have access to the toilets here that we showed you earlier. Okay, so we'll move on now, we'll show you some of the other rooms that have here in the red building. Okay, so we'll first one here, this is the ball club room. The children have had that for the last number of years, we've moved it over here further. Next door then we have the sensory room. This is a lovely area if a child needs to time out or needs to de-stress. Um, beautiful heated vibrating mattress. Um, they have a choice whatever colour lights they want to turn on. And we can play calming music, our stories, or anything that children would like that would help them. Okay, so that's their sensory room. Here, then we have a multi-purpose room. So they can use this for PE or for playing games or any activities they want to do in a group basis in the lighting. And this opens up then to their playground. Okay, so we have the lovely soft wall finish, so a bit giant wall thing on the part. And a beautiful climbing frame and swimming carousel. Here then is going to be painted in black and chalkboard paint so the children will be able to draw pictures of whatever on the wall there when they want. So that's, well, that's it now. I think that's our, our Rail for Classes ASD building. Um, I think they'll be absolutely delighted to come back to this facility. They've wanted so much space and so much comfort after over 20 years in prefabs. So something to look forward to. Okay, so the junior and senior infants will be moving to this building when we come back. So I'll just give them a quick look around at their new, their new classrooms. So to the left is where we have our junior infant classes. So the Mrs. Griffin is moving in here. This is Slattery's special edge room. Across the hall, we have Mrs. O'Sullivan's class. And next door, we have Mrs. O'Sullivan. Smart panels again in the rooms, toilets, and uh, fitted wardrobes and sink here. So beautiful, bright rooms for the children. So, we go up left here for the senior infants. So, this is one of our senior infant rooms, nearly ready, a small bit of work to do. Here. 
by me, I think this is Pops senior infants. And we have a lovely new playground just out here for the children. Okay, when you come back, have, uh, when the school reopens again, when we eventually come back, you need children that are coming from Conley Park um, entrance. This is your new entrance gate here, um, a bit shorter than what you're used to. So you'll be coming through this new estate in the back of Conley Park and coming in through the black gates here and just straight up to the school. Now I think some of you haven't seen either the, the library and computer room, so while we're putting this video together we might give you a quick look at it. So it's upstairs, it's the only classroom upstairs in the school. So we hope um, maybe in the summer term that we'll be able to open up this again for the pupils. Okay, and we might go and show you our cookery room as well. I think even some of our teachers haven't seen the cookery room yet because it was part of the building site for so long. So if you follow me, I'll show you the cookery room now as well. Okay, this is our cookery room. So yeah. So again, hopefully we'll be able to open this when the children come back. We might allow one class per day to come in and get it clean between each use. That's a lovely teaching room. I think children absolutely love coming over here for cookery classes. Okay, so that's, that's all we have for you today. Um, and I just say, keep safe and keep well. And we look forward to having you back, please God, for too long more. So I know all the teachers will be in touch with you over the next couple of weeks, and they'll be giving little lessons online and assigning homework and things to you. And the set staff will also be available to help out. So hopefully this will go a lot more smoothly than our last closure. But look, if any of you are having any difficulties or any problems, um, email directly to balloonic at gmail.com or you also have all the teachers' email addresses if you need any help, we're here to help you. So take care and stay safe.